What's good, YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? We are back with another podcast. Another podcast. What the hell you thinking? Episode three. Mm-hmm. Um, we decided that we're gonna start doing this podcast uh, twice a week. We're gonna do Sundays and Wednesdays. Okay. Sundays and Wednesdays. That's when we're gonna be posting these podcasts. Like I said, it's intentionally supposed to be a, a mini podcast, but depending on how long we talk, that's yeah. that's determine it. But we don't want to, you know, give it. Be giving y'all two hours and three hours and stuff because we're not established yet and we don't have listeners that's gonna be listening that long. So yeah. we decided to just probably do like an hour. And if we do do more than hours because we're interested in, mm-hmm. in the topic. The, in the topic. But so today, uh how you doing, Tella? <laughs> <laughs> Look at dude. Uh, I'm fine. How are you? No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm straight, I'm straight. Uh, uh, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but today we have some topics. Uh, it's actually a telephone. You want to go for the first topic? We get um, straight up into it. Straight up into it. I don't know which one goes first, but I know the first one in my mind is Jada and little baby. Jada and little and little baby. baby. I say little baby. Jada and little. Oh, okay. The Instagram crap. Yeah. Okay. Um. He has you go most first. of the. You he he has most of. You have most of the. I didn't watch the interview. I didn't watch the interview either. So what was the overall? Like, what was just like the little? No, I was just I, no. The reason why this became a topic because I asked Batala, like, how did she feel about like the little baby thing? Oh so, yeah. So yeah, what's yeah. so what's been going about? So what's been going around is little baby did um an interview mm-hmm. with uh, Wallow. Anybody know who Wallow is? Wallow, you know, from Philly, you know, that Philly scene. But anyway, if you if you guys want to watch the uh the episode, I think it's like where's Wallow. Okay. And his, that's the series, but he did one with but little baby, and mm-hmm. what sparked the thing is because he asked little baby a question as far as like about like love and all that stuff, and he basically said, basically at the end of the day, he said that he wasn't in love right now, and that you know, that basically fuck with anybody he wanted to fuck with, mm. and it basically you know jumped into. The Jada situation. So are they like still together? At the moment, I don't think they're together at all. Oh, so why is everybody calling her a fool? Be- um, because they've been together for a long time and just social media. Oh, okay. social media. So I want to ask you, like, like how do you feel about like that whole thing about like, um, like them? Like, most of the time, I don't really know their specific situation, but um, it's like sometimes people get people get into relationships and they, it's like. It's either one that falls in love first or the other one don't fall in love. It's like it takes time for the other to fall in love before the other. Like it's like kind of like it's not always equal like that where like one person falls in love and then they fall in love together. Like, oh, yeah, I knew I loved you from the beginning. Me, too. Like it's like um, I'm not saying that he's wrong or anything. They got like a baby that. together. As and well. they, they got a baby together as well. So I don't know how long they've been rocking exactly. But I feel like, I mean, that's just his preference. Like that's his thought process. He's not in love. He never been in love, and it's like, dang, it's kind of a blow to Jada, Jada's side because it's like, y'all was together for so long, and y'all like, you know, ride or die type of stuff, like, and she always like holding him down type of thing. But I don't know. I just, I don't really. I mean, like, if he's not in love, he's not in love. I can't really. That's that's why she was like, you know, you heard what the man said, and it's just, it's just like. Uh, what I, me personally, I'm a guy, so I think I'm, I'm gonna res- resonate with this more. Mm-hmm. Um, like, like I told you guys, if you want to watch the, the the full interview, you go over there. But in the interview, you know, in the little snippet of the part, I wish you would have just seen it. it would, the conversation would have been more better. Mm-hmm. But basically, but basically, like the way that he was saying it was basically like, yeah, I should have watched. It. I, I do my research. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I like I resonate like without saying it the. If you guys know his, like, the way that he was, you know, talking with, I feel like he, I feel like he had, he, he has a girlfriend or baby mama, whatever the case may be. Jada might think that she's that, but I don't think, I think he was coming from a real, like, truthful place. Oh, okay. Because he was yeah. basically like, you know, um, you know, I, I, I might fuck around and have sex or do whatever with another female because I know, you know, some, my man's to hold me down and all this other stuff. He said and, that? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's not my man's homie. Because when he first said, like, in the interview, I thought he was about to say, yeah, I got a girl that's going to hold me down. But mm-hmm. then when he said, oh, I might have sex with another female. But, yeah, like like I was saying, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, 
it, it, it's like a process. No, like, it's not. It's not even about that. It's like talking to somebody that don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm uh, talking because you have because you didn't see it. Yeah. So I was like, it's talking to you, and it's just like I, I should have watched it. I, I didn't mean to not watch it. Yeah. I just kind of thought it was like I thought he just said, "Oh, I have never been in love," and it's like, how do you feel about that? I didn't know exactly what he said. No, you had to know what he said. Like I, the way that he said it is basically been. I felt like it was one of those things where. You're you're so used to, what's the what's the like? Basically, I just feel like it, it's like one of those things where it's just like you think you think you what you do is more important than what you do. Like you don't get it, <laughs> you don't get it, you don't get it. Now, I'm trying to explain it because as a dude, the way he said it, I resonated with. It's like all these girls and all these guys, whatever, on social media bashing the baby because like oh. You this and you're stupid. He's he's not this. And I think Jada thought she th- thought she had something. Thought she connected with him on probably like on a you know on a bat like on a on a on a level that he was not on that level. Mm-hmm. He was probably mm-hmm. on a higher in a way that he seemed. It seemed like okay, she thinks that she touched him, but but she never touched. But she, but she, she never touched, touched him. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, she, got it. She, he touched her, mm-hmm. but she never touched him. Yeah. So in a way that he said that, it was basically like, like, like he haven't found love yet, mm-hmm. and oh. and some of these girls now think just because they, oh, I'm I'm twerk on that egg, I'm this, I'm a, I'm a act like a baby, I'm gonna get in my bag, things like. Yeah, niggas might do that, but you're not feeding his inner. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like it's not a real connection. It's not a connection. Like, it might there. be like a physical connection or like intimate connection, but it's not really like an emotional connection. It's, yeah, it's the, not. Yeah. And, I, and that's what I think that he was explaining. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, and I think that she probably might. Oh, because I did this, whatever. And it's just like you know, I feel like certain times, even if he hood a hood nigga or not, whatever. You got to be attached to that person, like, yeah. like, like spiritually, mm-hmm. or that they want to. But if you just, I don't know Jada, but I just think like she just to me like she give off these, you know, I got to be wine and dine, I got to be this, and it's just like oh, okay. if she, if if she's okay, the relationship is okay, right? And she's one of those girls that have a hard time when a guy is not, you know. In the same place as her. In, in the same place as her, cause she she's confused, mm-hmm. and maybe I'm not, not. I mean, I'm not knocking her, but females like that be confused because all they know is to give, you know, materialistic shit. Right. So they don't know how to, you know what I mean? Like, and they want their niggas to be bet all hard and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So if a nigga be like, yeah, that's me. I am a hood nigga. I am a this, but it's just like I haven't found love. Like I don't have no. Female yeah, that's and like, I, I can't really knock them for it because, like, it is what it is at that point. And a lot of females got that. A lot of females got that. It's either, like, when I, I'm okay, everything is okay. Mm-hmm. But guys, like, feelings and everything should be put on hold. And then once and once it's not on hold and they get that kind of, like, I need to find myself. I need to just, then it's kind of like, then you got the, you know, then you got the people that's kind of like, on her jock because they only see what's on social media. Yeah. Or they only see the diamonds. They only see like the hugs and mm-hmm. all the cars. She been holding you that you don't know what they be going on in their life. Yeah, you know they probably I mean? went like, through a lot of stuff. I heard a lot of stuff about them. Like they probably went through grimy a, stuff she did, grimy stuff he done did. So But it's just like when when a when a dude feel like he ain't got that where it's just like, you know, I don't know. It's just our ego. I feel like a lot of people like in the in the world, in the social media world, or just everywhere, it's like when a guy don't feel like they found love, it's like the end of the world because they exactly. was with a girl for a long time. Yeah, but if she a girl say down, like she got your baby, we're just like, bro, you don't know how how this chick been treating this nigga. Like, yeah, like you don't, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. So like some females, like it's like everybody think like, oh, it's the end of the world because he feel like this. Like, dang, she just a fool. Like maybe she not a fool. Maybe it's just like he haven't found love yet. Like it is what it is. So I I I I don't. I'm not bashing the. Uh, is it little baby? Yeah. Okay. I'm not bashing little baby or nothing like that. Like it's just how he feels, and that's like if a person gonna at least he be honest about it. At least right. he not lying. Like oh yeah, this is just my everything, but still cheating on Jada or something like that. Right. Like at least he being honest. So I think transparency is very important. So right. And you know I'm a guy, and so like I can't tell females what to do. I'm never gonna tell females what to do. Y'all do whatever y'all want to. But if I could say something, all I would say is you know. Have a stable relationship and understand that everything the 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 
the outer in the outer relationship supposed to look like how people giving it up. Mm-hmm. The core is supposed to be strong. Right. So yeah, we supposed to you know be hopping out the whip together. We supposed to all both of us be flashy. We supposed to both be you know dressing nice doing that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, we supposed to be soul ties. Mm-hmm. Our 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 core is supposed to be strong. When we strip this away, mm-hmm. we supposed to be still head to head. Like we. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say, like, I'm not, it, it's, it don't supposed to be like, I'm in a relationship for what you're showing me. Right. And you're in a relationship is with, for what you're showing, what mm-hmm. I'm showing you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's not a relationship. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like, like a. Yeah, I'm only there for what you got. Materialistic type very of. Very materialistic. Mm-hmm. And like I said, a lot of females don't understand guys because we just, the, what we do, you know, the outer way. And it's just, when once you finally get into us, it's like. Everybody a human being. Everybody cry. Everybody mm-hmm. like you know. Everybody kind of soft in some days. Yeah. And certain females not used to that. They just want yeah. their nigga to be a hundred percent, hundred percent how they want or them. Just, yeah. Not even just, just how they want them. Oh yeah. But they can it, But they don't. Uh, they don't. You know. Give out that. Yeah. You know what I mean. I want this. I want this. I want that. Not even materialistic shit. Just I want this. I want that. I want this. I just want to. But be, it's not reciprocated. But it's not reciprocated. Like we. Everybody have a, a limit when it's just when it, when they're when they're tired. Like, bro, I'm tired. Like mm-hmm. I'm tired of dealing with this girl. I'm tired of dealing with this. I'm tired of her. Then here you go. You you this, you that, you that. But it's just like it's to a point where it's just like niggas do get tired of females. Niggas do get tired of just situations. And sometimes it's just like, bro, I haven't met that person that gave me that connection. Mm-hmm. Like, give me that connection and I give you everything else. Especially like I can tell that's where the baby at Mm -hmm. where it's just like i want i need that connection to feel like okay this is gonna be my wife this is gonna be this then i spoil you with jewels yeah instead of not having that connection but that's all you want that's all you want you know that's all that's all here it's Mm -hmm. like oh we just we the only connection we got is when we talk about jewelry Jewelry we can't sit here and have a conversation we can't sit here and Mm -hmm. you know chop it up or whatever the case may be like it's always something where it's like okay like i'd rather have a connection with a shorty and just like Come, you know, give her all that, regardless of just like not having a connection, just like somebody that's all they want. And then I just think Jada's just shocked because she never thought like Lil Baby would be like, oh, you know, mm-hmm. he like this. I just don't think, he, I don't think she's, you know. Yeah, she's just kind of trying to, she's trying to like remain strong, but I know she feels like very shocked and very like, dang, like, that's but that's crazy. the type of, that's the type of, you know, lifestyle and type of thing that we, we teach kids nowadays. We teach younger kids nowadays to just kind of like do this, do that. Like nobody's have connections with nobody no more. So mm-hmm. when when that when you live, when you with somebody for four or five years and that you know that spark not there no more, it's kind of like ah, uh, I go with somebody else because connection not there. So yeah, you're like, uh, that spark not there. The sex not the same. Nothing's not the same no more. So you just so easy to quit because you're like. I really don't like this person anyway. It was mm-hmm. just, it was just something else. Like, yeah. That's when you start finding out it was something else. Like, yeah. oh, it was dead. So, I, I was only liking her because I was around other people. Uh-huh. I was around. Now that we just together, it's just mm-hmm. like, dang. dang. You start figuring right. out she's like, dang, she annoying. Mm-hmm. She a crybaby. Like she stupid. Like she illiterate. Like oh my god. Like, like the looks and brains and you know. I mean, just look, ain't, ain't gonna get ain't you, gonna get, ain't gonna get you far. You gonna get exposed. But that's how I feel about the little baby stuff. If y'all feel, you know. Feel something different, let us know in the comment section. Um, tell us how you feel and just let us know that you understand it because I have a hard time, you know, when I be talking about certain stuff, it's it's right in my head, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it comes out a little It's just faulty. kind of like Jamal, he knows, he has the knowledge of it and he knows everything about it. So, like, for me, when it's like something being explained, um, I always say, like, okay, can you, like, elaborate what happened and stuff like yeah. that? And it's like, I already know the little details about it now. It's like, I'm trying to explain it to somebody else, and their mind might not work like, like, like mine, so I have to, like, explain it in a way for them to understand so then we can bounce off of each other. So, yeah, right. I got to start probably, like, doing my research and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, read. I mean, I mean that'd, be, that'd be better when yeah. you're hosting a, hotel, a, a podcast. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. You want to know that you know I know. Stuff, I just, so I just heard gossip. a little bit about it, like. Yeah, but it was all over Twitter. That's kind of what I It's not it. gossiping. It's just kind of, like, your thoughts on it. Is that gossiping, though? What, without knowing your facts, it's gossiping. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, because you, you, you're just throwing out you're just throwing out shit. Like, yeah. That's gossip. But, yeah, like I said, like, y'all want to tell us how y'all feel about that, but like I said, I just think that Jada and the baby situation, like, they've been together for the longest time. They have a baby mm-hmm. together. Um, but, you know, when somebody else feel like the connection ain't there, they want to go do whatever they got to do, 
you know, you just got to take it on the chin and be like, bro, like, I'm always see you again because we got a baby. But, right. you know, we just, the connection went there. That's pretty much what I could say, the connection went there. Yeah. Anytime somebody do something, it's just be like, I'm just going to go off. Cheating is different. You know, cheating is different. But if they just be like, okay, I'm going to cheat. You know, I'd rather just not be with you. That's mm-hmm. clearly like connection. That's clearly connection. It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna fuck somebody. I'm fucking somebody better because if it was, that mean he got somebody brand new, right? And that's not the case. It's just like I want my space. I want to do me. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's clearly connection. If you're not making nobody laugh happy, if somebody really puts you on a pedestal, that you're not going nowhere from their life, but they always want to see you, right? But if you're not making that connection, they're like nah, you know, hell nah. Alrighty, so we have the next topic, which is, um, it's a viral video that, um, was it viral? I think it was viral, that went around where this woman, it was this guy's birthday, and this woman gave him a gift, and the gift was a, a rental property or something like that? Oh, yeah, it was like a rental that. property. See, y'all, I didn't, do my, I didn't do my exact research on this, but I, I kind of know the outskirts of it. Next time she will, next time she yeah. will. Yeah, it, it was like she gave him a gift of, as a, of a, um, a rental property. Oh, I brought you a property you got you a property and stuff like that and he was like oh i kind of want like a what do you say a rolex dang i thought a it was rolex gonna, like, and a chain. i thought it was gonna be like a rolex or some or a chain like the way he reacted you know so it kind of went viral and stuff like that so you go first yeah um i really don't know like i don't know how it works with the houses and stuff like that like so i don't know like did did she give him the the rental property to like to have for him to like fix it up and like sell it like not sell it but like or like fix it up and sell it or rent it out to somebody i don't get it like is it like she or did she give it to him like okay you have a place to live now that's not the answer that's not the question the question is is he wrong i know but i was just saying i was saying i wanted to know like well is he wrong for like how she for for the way that he acted okay for okay should he should she just leave him because his mind all right that's what um okay well the question well the question for i mean the answer for that is like he reacted wrong to me just on the outside looking in because he, it, so, it sounded, it came off ungrateful to me. Because if you walk in here right now and you say, but I got you some shoes, I'm like, dang, like, I wanted a Louis Vuitton. I mean, I, I wanted a, a Chanel purse. I don't, like, you're going to feel disrespected as a as a man coming to me, giving me something. Right. So I felt like the way he reacted, I don't know his reasoning for reacting that way, but I feel like it was disrespectful to me. Um, a lot of people have mixed thoughts on it. And I personally feel like it was a bit disrespectful just because it, the way it came off, like where it was like, oh, oh, you got me that? Like, I kind of want a chain and a watch. Like, dang, like, whatever. Like, okay, well, can you at least try to be grateful for it? Or, uh, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jump off of the lamb. I kind of, I'm gonna kind of go with the dude, but it's well, all- if you do that to me, then I'm just like, don't, don't, like, I'm only your, your analogy is not even close to being right that's like if you're you know if i'm giving you something totally off the wall and you kind of expected something different you can't okay you so, you're just, gonna, so you're just gonna be like no it's not that it's just like we like need was to, it right for him we to need be to like start. it wasn't right for that but i don't think that he's in the wrong though because like in a video she was like well i told you i knew he was gonna say that i knew he was gonna, i think oh. i'm an advocate of giving people what they want me and Batala two years ago started this thing during Christmas where you put 10 things in a bowl mm-hmm. and you only pick five out, but the person don't know which five it out of the 10 it thing. was. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day for Christmas, you're getting five items mm-hmm. that you picked, you know, that you wrote down mm-hmm. out of 10. You know what I mean? So yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, you're going to get what you want, but you just don't know which, which five one? items mm-hmm. out of the 10 items that you wrote that you wanted. So... Cause we shake it up in a bowl, we pick and we pick the five out of you know. So at the end of the day, you get what you want. So it ain't gonna be like, oh, I got a sweater. I was hoping I got that hint. You know what I mean? A new computer. You got me a sweater. So I'm an advocate of giving people what they want. Another thing, a rental property. We don't know what type of rental property it is. And I heard you know more details. Probably it was in Detroit, and you know it was a bando. So oh. so let's be honest here. So. She get like like other people said. I'm not the first person that just said this. This was a this was came out somebody else's mouth, and I'm just reiterating. She gave him for his, for his birthday a bill, mm. so he was yes, you're gonna make money off of it. I'm down, you know, you're gonna make wealth. You you have a property, but I'm I'm gonna jump off the limb here and say, you know, if you watch that video, if he was expecting her to buy him a watch or a Rolex, 
he have money to get him a, a, a rental a, property. Oh, 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 okay. A yeah. rental property. Mm-hmm. He probably got enough money to you know go to go buy a rental property. He probably already have rental properties. Like you know what I mean? They wasn't where they were sitting. It looked like it was a pool. Mm-hmm. Like they had like they was in a luxury like uh, apartment or something. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and if he knew that oh, okay, my shorty can get me a twenty thousand twenty you know a twenty five thousand dollar watch, you know. He could have got, got it himself. I'm pretty sure he's not like, oh, I only got five dollars to my name, but I wanted her to give me a, a third. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't like the reaction though. That's my only thing because like that's the question, and I just don't like the reaction. But like if you like if you dig back into like the reason of, of everything, if you if you look at it as a open book and like on the outside, it's like okay, this is this and this and this. You be like, okay, oh, he's not in the wrong for feeling that way, but I just feel like the reaction to it towards his girlfriend is wrong. I'm just going to stick with that because it's just like, I don't know, like even if it's just like even if it's I'm like down. whatever I'm I, I'm down. I think I think we I think we're only feeling this type of way because if we got it, we'll be appreciated. We don't know what these people at are yeah, in their life. Yeah, we don't know, but so it's just like if some as a human if with Batala, empathy. if if for if for let's put it like this, for Batala's birthday, if I want to go get her Balenciaga's, you know, Christian Louis Vuitton, I, uh, red bottoms, threw her a big party, got her a Lamborghini, all that stuff. But she want to be, she want to take the, the noble route and give me some land or something. And I thought I was going to get this new Lambo but you or can't something. Tell me that she wasn't. But I'm going to get her this new Lambo or something. You can't be like, like somebody else. Somebody else would be like, thank you for the land. Yeah. But. Where we at in life is kind of okay. like, bro, like, like, you do we really, what I want. Do we need, do we really need this? Like, you know, I was like looking forward to a watch. It's, it's human. Like, it's yeah. human. Like, come on. Like, let's not I do mean. this. Like, let, let's, let's, just, let's just be look at it as humans. Like, come yeah. on. Now. And, but Tyler, if we know what we're doing, we know what we're in a relationship. And you, I got you what you wanted. We're mm-hmm. only like some, some stuff, I'm going to be honest. Some stuff sound good. On the internet because the internet is just is this meme that's not a meme but it's this thing that's going around the internet on Facebook where it's like oh would you take eight hundred and seventy five or fifty some uh credit or would you take two million dollars cash what what's what's everybody doing on this post everybody talk about I take the eight fifty in credit because you can make this in credit or you can nigga I'm taking the cash like like shit be sounding so like. Like, like you got your shit together mm-hmm. on the internet where you pick, like, you know, and there's another one was like, oh, would you take $150,000 or uh, one one night dinner with uh with Jay-Z? Oh, I'm taking a dinner with Jay-Z, like, because he can <laughs> tell me, but like, nobody, no, if Jay-Z tell me, no. if, if I'm sitting down with Jay-Z for dinner, we're eating. Yeah. Jay-Z is not telling me no fucking business mm-hmm. that's going to get me a hundred and some K in, in, in the less than day. 24 mm-hmm. hours, bro. I'm taking the cash. Fuck Jay-Z at that time. I can meet him somewhere else. Like, certain <laughs> shit, like, because I'm tired of people just be trying to seem like sadity on the internet. Mm-hmm. We are human beings, bro. Like, I just feel like she knew him. She... Went the she tried to go to no the 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 noble route mm-hmm. and she probably that bando was probably cheap. She bought it was like oh I bought you some land where it's just like bro, okay. I wanted I wanted a twenty thousand dollar watch mm-hmm. and I wanted a chain. So now that you bought me this bando, before I can even get people to live in this this this, this apartment, I got to give it up spin. to Cole. Mm-hmm. So I probably got to get I probably got to. Put fifty thousand to a hundred k in his house, hoping that everything is mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Hope mm-hmm. you know the crackheads yeah. can get in to take all the copper out. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean. Like so, I hope this shit can stand for people. So I got to run through code, run through all these you know get permits to do all this stuff to get this house yeah, to start to in the and figure out what where it's at in a city mm-hmm. to figure out how much I can even put it on rent. You you know. You know you got to go by laws in each like neighborhood and stuff. Mm-hmm. You, I can't put a uh, a house like in a neighborhood and charge you know uh, two thousand dollar rent when every every house around it is going for six hundred dollar rent. Right. You know you can't do that. Right, you can't. No, I'm telling you, like you can't do that. Like you you can't. So if you somewhere where a house like you have to be in that 
Like unless you sell it now, it's different. Right, right. But rent is is such thing as rent laws. You can't yeah. just have like oh probably an apartment luxury apartment, but you can't just have a house and be like okay I'm charging it. I'm just charging two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, like, yeah. You you know, that don't make a, sense. It's, yeah. it's laws like it's laws of, for prevent shit like that. So I just okay. don't think I I just don't think she. I feel like because like thinking back to the video, I did kind of look at like because like when she, when he did the reaction it was like her reaction was different than what i expected because like as a woman you automatically just on the outside looking in and you would think like oh she hurt like but she actually was like i knew he was gonna say that i'm like dang like she, she cool i and mean she's she straight was around. so that's what i'm saying i feel like they have an understanding you know and they know each other so maybe it was just the wrong thing and on top of that that's probably his y'all keep saying she should leave when he bird brain like bro um bro i'm telling you if if his if he with his girlfriend or his wife and she had enough money to to for him to even think he was getting the Rolex, getting the Rolex, yeah, they're doing something good mm-hmm. for that. Some of y'all not doing, you know what I mean? For some of y'all not like he, you never know. Like that, that's probably his personality. Like the phone just captured it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So like Vitala is somebody different on her on her on her uh her ASMR. If I just just record her mm-hmm. a reaction. Why she just like, bro, like, I, I didn't, Jamal, I said this type of burger. I'm like, but I got you this burger. Like, like oh, she's bro, a, like, she's oh, a why snob. would I, she a snob, yeah, you know, this, like, she ungrateful. But that, like, you'll be like, bro, that's her, that's her personality. Like, she just be joking. Like, yeah. and you know, I know, and I know plenty of niggas just like, you do in that thing where it's just like, bro, I wanted to watch, bro. Like, like yeah. he, was pretty, pretty, he was around his girlfriend, I mean, around his girlfriend, her friends, around his niggas. So he was like, damn, bro, I kind of wanted to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like. If he probably was around other people, he probably would have kept that shit low key and just like, okay, like talk to her later about it. But maybe somebody else had their phone out and recorded. It. And yeah. Like he wasn't recording. Yeah. I mean, he was recording her taking out the bag when she was like, "Hello," mm-hmm. was just like, "I got you a rental property," and he was looking at it like, "Bro, like, you don't know." He probably got a whole <laughs> job, whole list, or he probably an entrepreneur, entrepreneur or something. Like you never know where people come from, and be like, "Bro, I'm not gonna put no work into this shit." Like mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I mean. You I understand, me, though. You got me a gift. Now I got to put a fish. Like, bro, later on, I'm going to thank you. Like, okay, like, I got it up. You know what I mean? Like, and sometimes, I'm, I'm going to say this to y'all because a lot of y'all don't know certain stuff when it comes to, like, business and stuff. Just because you own something don't mean you, like, you're you're at the top or something. You right, know what I mean? Right. I own, I own, I own. Yeah, you can own a trap house, bro. If you never get that trap house up, you never do whatever, you can... It's so many people foreclose homes and all that type of stuff. Like, bro, you can own something and down the line you cannot own it no more. That's like, true. don't just be like, oh, I own it. I own it. Like, like you what? don't own it. Yeah. Like, you don't own it. Like, That's if true. you not own it, like, land, like, literally land, you don't really own certain shit because, like, if you, it's a lot of these laws and a lot of stuff that people don't read. And that's when they get their house. They, and there's people who, ha- who pay for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, the city give them enough time get this up to code get this up what you about to do this building it's just been mm-hmm. here all like what you doing like right. you paying property tax and stuff on this building just for nothing are you just like ain't no such thing as just like i own 100 percent of this land like you you have yeah. to pay something yeah. a year a month or something like just you know what i mean just yeah. proper just property tax regardless like you can't just be like like a water bottle i own it i don't own i don't pay nothing for it no more so a lot of people lose her shit, but like I said, I don't think he he was wrong at all, you know. Yeah, just on the outside looking in, he, it just seems wrong though. But like, if you think if we dig deep, like we just did into like the reasoning and stuff like that, maybe it's like he's not incorrect. But like, I just feel like just look at the video, you'd be like, dang, he kind of. Mm-hmm. But we don't know. I don't know because like the way we are, like y'all might be like, dang, like. Jamal wrong for saying it to her. Or but what if it was wrong? the other way around, though? If, I, if, if it was the if, girl. If you was giving it to me, like... No, no, other way around. If she, if he was giving it to her and she was acting like that. Uh, she would be wrong to me. She would be wrong? Yeah. I don't know. Certain females just be going nah, with, like, I, I, with, I, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just be like that for... Because I'd be like, this bitch, like, she snob. Like, what you mean? Like, ungrateful yeah. as fuck. Like, I would think the same way as I'm thinking about the male. Like, and it ain't, I ain't got no gender switches. And I will like agree with you if she gave this nigga a house... That tomorrow he can put a family in there, yeah, and make okay. money off of it. Yeah. She just bought him some land, not a band though, no, not a band though. Yeah, I didn't know all that. I mean, <laughs> but that, yeah, it not is a crack, what it is. Not a crack house, my guy. Like I got to worry about a crack house. 
what part of the city it is. Right. Yeah. Like, bro, I got to worry about this, bro. No, bro. All right. So we're going to move on to our next question. Well, it's a question. Do you want to answer this? Uh. Or did you want to, like, end it off with the two topics that we talked about? Yeah, you can, we, can, we can go ahead. You go ahead. Um, the question, we're going to call it the closing question. All right, the closing question. The closing question is, is it worse for a man to cheat or a female to cheat? Go ahead. Um, What's worse? <laughs> Don't snatch that out of my hand. Because it's going to be all up in the sound and stuff. Like, um, I didn't snatch it either. Um, Is it worse for a man to cheat or a woman to cheat? I feel like it's both equal. It's worse for both people to cheat. Like, I can't really say, like, oh, like, are we talking about in terms of, like, what? Like, this this question is not the really question, broad. The, exactly. So, you got to make it broad so, for you. Shit. Is it, so, is I'm going to say. Is it worse for a man to cheat or a female to cheat? What's worse? Both. Cheating, period. I can't really say. Like, I can't really be like, okay, it, it's worse for a man to cheat because he is a breadwinner. He's supposed to take care. Like, I, no. <laughs> it, it just don't make sense. It's like both of them. Me, personally. I think what's worse is for a female to cheat. That's my my thing. I think female, female, bro. I swear, if I che- if I ever cheated on Vitala, I could just walk in the house and just be straight. Females can do that too. So we okay. So so now we talking about emotional standpoints or something like now. Because okay, like but the, y'all y'all forgive me about Vitala because this she does this. I it's I gotta I gotta question. understand. So you, you you have to elaborate, please. Like she she. She like, she like a kid. Like you would ask her a question, and she'd be like, "Well, yeah, bananas." Then you, they ask you a question, and you have an elaborate question. She'd be like, "Well, come back to me. I have something I need to say now." Like, like, don't wait till I start talking for you to be like, "Bro, we ain't the same." So I don't <laughs> care. Your mind work different than mine. So okay, what? don't wait. Wait for and, me. And like, I just it's be trying a question. To... Oh, so now that we talk about elaborate, no, because, that was the question. He elaborated, and he said. Oh, because females are different when it comes to cheating. So I, now, and automatically, there's so that threw my mind that threw my mind to emotional state. If if we talk about emotional type of wise, we like, talk about any. What's worse, regardless of that, all that we didn't say just emotional. Both of them niggas, like, like <laughs> it's both, but still, but still, like if you look at the emotional standpoint, I feel like it's worse for a female because female catch ties quicker than males. But then it can happen too for males though. No, nigga, I feel like niggas only leave when it's time to when they upset. Just like little baby, we just had that conversation about little baby. I feel like when when because we don't have a lot of needs. That's the thing about guys, we don't have a lot of needs, and it's females that don't want to put up with that. I will tell y'all right now, the number one thing is not sex when it comes to men. I don't know what what females that maybe it's this new generation, as far as like this twerking and all this other stuff from yeah. you know from hot girls summers and all that stuff, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all falling into a generation of prostitutes. That's not where mm-hmm. niggas, at the end of the day, them type of niggas that y'all catering to just want to pay y'all and go to the females right. that got their hearts. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they want to, you know, make y'all the worst. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do all types of things to y'all, the most nastiest stuff. Treat y'all like a doll. You know what I mean? Like spit, pee. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Do whatever they fantasies to y'all. Cause y'all think about oh this is the new generation, but, but then they gonna go with the and they gonna go, with, the, go, they gonna go mm-hmm. with the corny girls that's, that's pointing at their heart. You know what I mean? Like and them them the females that y'all don't like, but they the one that got the houses, they the one that got the cars. You know, and his wife ain't got no ass. His wife, ain't, no, of course, <laughs> because he's coming to you getting all his fantasies, but he making sure you don't go. To, you know what I mean? She yeah. he making sure home is straight. And if you ever try to come in between that, he'll make sure something happened to you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, just this generation of just, you know, prostitution. But like I said, I think it's worse for females because females just, I think fe- I think females kind of look at more things than males do. Okay. Like males, like males don't care. Like males, like if we're up, males we can have a female that ain't got no job, that ain't got nothing. We care for her. She had the crib. Even if we do cheat, we just, you know, have sex and we just went back to the crib, whatever. Females is just... Emotional. Every, but everything. Like, females can leave off emotion. You know, you can think... they, You know, they can have sex with somebody else and just leave off just emotion. Or he put his... You know, like I said, like, he put his D down better than you did. So now she at the crib fantasizing about him. Or, you know... You, y'all both struggling and, you know, she didn't cheat it, but now he got more money than you. So now she at the crib thinking about him because, like, dang, I could be with him. He could be doing this for me. He could be doing. I feel like 
everything about a female sway. Like, if females don't have a, a strong love or a vibe for you, everything can sway. You know, sexual love can sway. You know, temptation, just love in general can sway. Like, cause it's just like if you if you let's say you have all the money, and a a bum can dick her down. She'll be thinking about the bum. You could be having. She could have everything in the house, everything, and she had, she would literally, you know, ch- choose the bum over you and all that stuff, or have like you like Chicago females, like nigga be she will be with a baller, but she'd rather. Had this nigga set up the baller. You be like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but set the nigga that got everything up. Like, I done seen females like that. I got a, my mom was like that. So it's just like, bro, she, motherfuckers are rather dick, jeopardize, you know, them having everything, money, everything, but they want to fit in over here. Mm-hmm. That people that ain't got nothing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's how females is. I, I seen a lot of it, especially you know, growing up and stuff. I seen a lot. Of that shit. And I think it's worse. Like, if female's not down for you 100%, anything can sway. Any nigga that ain't got what you got can sway. I agree. Especially if, you know, if if it's digging, if your female dig it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, nigga could come with some money if your female don't care that she not going to fuck with her. But if she's digging anything that a nigga come that you don't got, you, you liable to get your shorty took, bro. And I think it's worse. Nigga, different. Me, personally, I done seen, I done seen females come where it's just like, you know this shorty right here is way better than your girl. And niggas be like, I don't care. Like, I don't no, care. No, everybody ain't like, like you, Jamal. But I just seen it. I just seen niggas be like, I don't mm-hmm. care. Like, I, I just feel like some, some, like you talk about how females are worse. I feel like men have some of those qualities too. They're toxic. And they, they, it's like they're, like they just, I don't know. Like they don't want to be in one place or at a time. Like it's like, it's like, they're not never satisfied, so I feel like what you talking about with the females can still st- apply to some st- men. But but that's true. But what? But a life can withstand though w- okay. with the with the man. Like yeah. if a female don't fi- if a female don't figure out that her nigga is cheating, she can literally have the best life ever. Like with a man, the the significant other can literally have the best life ever. And her nigga can be cheating. Right. And she don't know. It can't be like that with female with, with a female. A nigga cannot have his girl and had a best life ever and have her on the side cheating and keeping that shit 100. Because she, she can't. Okay. It's going to be a time. It's going to be a time where she going to come in and shit going to change. Like, maybe she might do it for three or four months when she hiding it. Like, she hiding it and he might not even thinking about it and life is good. But it's going to be a time where he going to be like, what is wrong with you? Is she, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Like, what's going on? Like, y'all wear shit on y'all sleeve. Y'all dealing with a nigga that got, got y'all messed up and y'all don't, you know what I mean? Like, that nigga gonna find out, like, okay, bro, what's going on? Like, what's straight? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, man, whatever. Right. Like, whatever. Or, or you just gonna be put up. You gonna be fed up. Like, I don't wanna be with you no more. I got another nigga that I wanna be with. Like, you know what I mean? Right. I wanna see him every day. I wanna be with him every day. Like, we talk if we talk about savages, yes, there's a lot of female savages. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of female <laughs> savages that'd be like, bro, that been she that had a side nigga for years. But I, I think I think females like that are older. Yeah. They just kinda got like their little shit like they got their experience. They got their old mm-hmm. they got their younger nigga, like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm fucking on him, but then I'm going back to my castle with my old man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got my rocks on, whatever. <laughs> but not 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 females now. I think females would just be, you know, Having sex with her nigga, thinking about the next nigga, all this other stuff. And I think it just be on her sleeve and just be like, you know what? I'd rather just be fucking with this nigga right here. And it's just like, bro, what's going on? Like, but I think a nigga can literally be fucking with a female daily, daily. I'm gonna be wait. I'm gonna be late for work with a female, female, and come in, bring his girl flowers and shit. Like she would never. Cause it's a know. whole, it's a whole facade. Like they got, they got better facades. They got better. Um, the emotional standpoint of a male right. is different than females because we, like you said, we wear it on our sleeve. Right. So it's like we might cheat and come back in the house and be like, dog, like, it'll be weird. Like, I don't even want to be like next. Like, it'll be weird. Like, for a male, he can come in and cheat and give your, give your wife a kiss on the cheek and you right. all have sex the same night. Right. That type of thing. Like, girls, but we only, kinda, but only, like, but only if you care about them, though. Yeah. Only if you care. Yeah. Because guys, we can do that unconsciously. We can do that. We, we might think weird to be like, damn, we did that, but. Everything can go right. You right, know what I mean? Right. When we not, everything can go right. Females 
only can do that if they feel some type of way. Yeah. But if we switch everything off, f- females can get dirty. Like they can. Like I'm not gonna lie about that. <laughs> savages. Yeah. And we talk about no love. Females can show no love. Like no. No love like y'all cheat better than we do but when I'm, I'm we're talking about still loving yeah your still loving other. it yeah but if you don't love your significant other oh, oh it's oh, wraps oh, yeah oh, y'all Just, take the cake yeah. oh, y'all can get savage but like i said if yeah savage y'all can get savage no love lost oh female savage but we're, we're talking about if, if you still love you <laughs> like yeah if you still care about your significant other you know and you cheat can you know basically that's what we're saying but if you don't love it I yeah, I give it to females. Yeah, we'll give it to females. Cause y'all can, females can uh, get off one, get off one dick. And oh, shower, go to the next one. Oh, shower, go to the next. Man, got every nigga that that's his plan. Every nigga, boo, that's you. That boo, you my boo. Like you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Have grown niggas crying. Like bitch, why would you doing that to me? <laughs> why are you, I'm killing your bitch? <laughs> yeah, I'm, emotional. Stop playing with my heart like that. Mm-hmm. Like niggas, bro, yeah. Y'all players way more, but y'all can't have your heart in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if y'all heart in it, then it's like, it's, yeah, it, it's yeah. Crazy. That's then y'all want to be with niggas. Like y'all want to be, I want to be with this nigga. Nah, fuck you. I want to be with this nigga. But if y'all ain't got no heart and y'all just a player, y'all do, y'all do, y'all could do nigga shit way better than niggas. Yeah, y'all can sure. hide it. Like, man, if a if if a if a female can't have a nigga mindset, like I don't love none of these niggas, bro. I'm just getting this money. Niggas will be go. Niggas will turn fifty, and and figure out. Nigga, she had a new nigga since y'all been together. You know what right, I mean? Like right. all her sugar daddy just turned fifty at the same day. Yeah. Like, like, like I've been with her for thirty years. I've been with her for thirty years. Like she cold. Nigga. That's like, true. Exactly. Like bro. Like she played it. Like I think that's how females is, bro. But you just gotta watch that because <sighs> males we're are we're egotistic. When it, I didn't see, I, I didn't hear, not seen, but I didn't hear too much of, you know, hood females like that. Not hood, but more of like savages. Mm-hmm. More of those type of savages, like, you know, God rest his soul, but like, but dying. Because, like, we're, f- niggas are bitches when it comes to playing with their heart. Yeah. Like, we get emotional. Like, and it's to the point where it's just like, bro, like, we don't want to play no game no more. We can do it to females. Like, girl, get off me, girl. Like, girl, get off me. I can't believe you cheated on me. Yeah, you're going to be done. A couple hours later, whatever. Months later, you'll have another nigga, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, but niggas, they be like, this bitch did. Mm-hmm. It's either he going to attack your new nigga or he attacking you. Attacking or he you. trying to kill both of y'all. Mm-hmm. Especially if you play a nigga so cold. Like, oh, oh. And nowadays. Yeah, there's a lot of cases like that. Now, Nowadays, we talk about 2020. Nowadays, niggas is letting females have, have it, it, have it, Dead. Like, have Sorry, it. But Milwaukee, you know how many times like this this year? Yeah, there's been multiple cases of that, like almost eight cases this, this February. Almost eight cases in two months of this year. A month was killing females and their kids, mm-hmm. like just off like sh- the strength of like that, like so, like get, not to be you know s- you know talk you know like that, but shit is serious. A lot of these so, a lot of these niggas nowadays are like. Soft, they're hard. Yeah, but when it when, when you when you hit that little yeah you hit that part and it's like like a lot of these niggas stop playing. Yeah. So if a nigga tell you like you know we could be together, but don't you know if he if he holding his heart you know what I mean like he not letting you in, just be with him from the surface. If you know you're not gonna be with that nigga forever, mm-hmm. don't try to get into and y'all females got it bad. No, just open up, just open up, just open up, just open and up. And then once they then bury his soul to you, then, then once he bury his soul to you and you do some fucked up ass shit, he ready to take you out, folks. Like, yeah. bitch, you supposed to be it because like now he look at you different. Mm-hmm. And then when you do some bogus ass shit or bring some shit up like to hurt, like yeah. I only told you that, like, oh, he ready to kill you now, like. But. Yeah, but at the end of the day, <laughs> cheating is bad, guys. Yeah, cheating is Stay bad. Faithful. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, my shit is females are worse. I say both are worse. Because we both had, they both had different characteristics, different qualities and situations. So I say both. Right. But I do agree with his like the the thing on the girls like completely. So right. So that. thank y'all for watching the third episode or what the hell you talking about? What the hell? I mean, what the hell you thinking? <laughs> I'm, 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 let, I'm gonna let him get it. <laughs> what the hell you thinking? Episode three. Uh, next week we got a nice, nice episode. We're gonna be talking about sex. Ooh, sex. Six, 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 six. We got some six questions that we're going to be talking about. So you guys tell us 
what you want us to talk about, um, we will yeah. be dedicate. Uh, if we don't, if you don't give us no questions, we're going to co- co- continue, continue to do them. what we're doing. Mm-hmm. But if we start getting a lot of questions from you guys, we're going to be uh, at least dedicate one show. One show to like the you know, questions. Uh, of just mm-hmm. all questions to, from answering for you guys. And other than that, we're, like I said, we're trying to get this podcast big. We're going to be doing two shows a week. You yeah. know, Sundays, you know, when y'all just chilling. And we're going to drop it Wednesday. Wednesday. When y'all are just chilling after school or after work. So thank y'all for watching. This is What the Hell You Think It Podcast 3 with your boy J and your girl B. B. B-Z. Butala. 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 But other than that, we love you guys. We'll see you guys Sunday. Well, this is going to be posted tomorrow. Yeah. Saturday. So Saturday. So, so we'll we see you guys Wednesday. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Wednesday. So the next time we see you guys, going to be Wednesday. That's going to be the the sex question so y'all let us know what y'all want to see and we actually got some more videos we will be in houston Mm -hmm. we will be in houston so that show that y'all gonna see wednesday is gonna be filmed somewhere else so yeah it's not gonna be pre-filmed but it's gonna be filmed filmed somewhere somewhere else else. or we should pre-film right yeah just to be safe yeah because i don't think we're gonna have these yeah we can't have all these mics (laughs) going to the oh yeah but we will be in houston uh when it drops so we, we will be dropping like Regular videos. Yeah, regular yeah. Like, we're not just know. gonna do podcasts. We're just not gonna be doing podcasts, but this is gonna be the 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 consistent mm-hmm. thing on the channel. Uh, we got some more videos that we're gonna be posting. We got you know. So let me not tell y'all everything. Yeah. But other than that, thank you guys for watching again. I'm Jay and I'm B and, and this, this is J and B TV. TV. We are out. Peace. Peace.